Hello and welcome to my channel, How To With Paul Henderson. This is an update video on my problem that I've been having with my truck lately. It is on my 2019 Chevy Silverado All-Star Edition V8 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 engine with dynamic fuel management. And here is the update. Okay, so just over three months ago, I had installed the GM Performance Cold Air Intake System. And then about two weeks or three weeks later, I installed this still in cold air scoop now on my truck it's an lt it comes with these active aero shutters that are behind the grill and what they do at about 35 miles an hour they'll close to make the vehicle more aerodynamic and then just below 35 or maybe under 30 they open back up i do have a video for that and i will put this in this video so you can see them work I also posted a four minute video to my YouTube channel that shows a four minute drive. Well, it was like a 10 minute drive. I cut it down to four minutes of those shutters opening and closing and the times that they open and close or the speeds that they open and close. So with that said, here is the problem that I was having. It sounded like, oh, well, let me go back a little bit at 5,000 miles my engine's um, passenger side lifters went out so they had to replace that at 5,000 miles i now have just over 25,000, which means that right around 20,000 miles had went by but then about 3,000 miles ago i noticed there was a, a loud noise coming from the passenger side of the engine compartment i had put my cell phone in there audio recorded it and it sounded like a steel ball bouncing in a plastic box. So I figured something probably came loose underneath the valve cover and it was bouncing around, but it was the same rhythm every single time. It only did it the last, I could only hear it the last 20 miles an hour before I came to a stop. Sometimes I could hear it a little bit uh, higher um, in the speed limit, but it was really kind of hard. So, took it to the dealership twice. They couldn't find it. And uh, Riverside Chevrolet, thank you very much. You guys didn't charge me for looking at it and I really do appreciate it. Took it back a third time with a new audio recording that I made and I also posted that on my YouTube channel to ask people what their opinion was. Well, maybe I should have waited it before I took my truck in because uh, one guy made a comment that it could have been my still in cold air scoop. Well, the mechanic, he was a pretty smart guy. He actually found the problem and he came to the conclusion that it was the still in scoop. And sure enough, it was. He took it for a test drive without the scoop in, it didn't do it. He put the scoop in, took it for a test drive, it did it. I took it for a test drive at the dealership, it didn't do it without the scoop. And then we put the scoop back in on the way home, it had the scoop in with all the push pins, and it did it. I removed the far passenger side push pin, which would be this one right here, and it didn't do it. So what I was thinking is that when this scoop is in here, it, when I actually connect that last, uh, when I actually push in that last pin, it pulls the whole entire um, scoop forward and that pushes against the aero shutters. The aero shutters touch it anyway, but I didn't think that was gonna be a problem. But after doing a videotape of the aero shutters this morning by putting my cell phone uh, zip tied to the front grill, I realized those shutters uh, close and open quite a bit and there's some support brackets or mechanism brackets that actually pop out and go up and that's what lowers, closes and opens 
the, the shutters. So it's those bars that were rubbing against the opening on the stillin and it was causing, I think the motors or the actuators for those shutters to make that, uh, that sound that it was making because it was the same exact rhythm every single time. So the fix that I'm gonna do is gonna be uh, Lone Star Hawaiian had the same problem. And uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here and it should create a big enough gap for those arrow shutters to not hit this uh, still in. And that should be it. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this uh, factory air intake scoop, I guess you'd call it. Well, it's not a scoop. This is a scoop. This is just the air intake grill. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in here for right now because I don't need the still in there. But eventually, I will do a uh, YouTube video on me um, modifying this so I can go ahead and use it inside, back inside my truck. Well, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching this and um, I was really confused the last few days of what was going on with this. I really thought there was a loose nut or bolt or ball bearing inside the valve cover. But I was glad to find out that it was distilling and that makes me real happy. So I got my truck back because I'd be pretty bummed if uh, my lifters were going out again. So they're not, so that's a good thing. And I guess that's really about it. And, oh, but for a while, I didn't know what it was. I had put my cell phone here and here, and the mic that was on my cell phone was pointing right in this direction. I was always kind of curious how, this things, how these uh, shutters worked. And if I would have did that while it was making the noise with this uh, stillin, I would have realized that it was the shutters so I feel kind of stupid for taking it in, but I will say this, Riverside Chevrolet, they're awesome. They didn't try to blow me off and they did try to find the problem twice. They couldn't duplicate it. And I think what was happening is every now and then when I would wash my truck, this thing would get pushed forward. Sometimes it get pushed back and sometimes it would rub against it. Most of the time it would rub against those shutters and that's what would cause that really strange noise that you'll hear when you uh, watch the video on my YouTube channel. If you find the other video on my YouTube channel, it's like four minutes long. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And like all my other videos, there will be some bloopers. Actually, no. <laughs> I didn't mess up on this one. I didn't stop this camera once during this whole entire filming. So it is what it is. And have a nice day. And may your car or your truck or your vehicle run nice and cool. Have a good day. It's okay, I didn't stop. That was the first time I ever got a scene all the way through without messing up once. So you got a YouTube channel, huh? Yeah. What's your channel called? Oh, I gave it to her, How To with Paul Henderson. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> good, good. Thanks for the answer. All right, good. Yeah. She likes, she likes, she likes the Yeah, watch some of those videos because I get, uh, I get credit for it. I mainly do truck stuff and then I do a few other things. I install the, a TV wall mount, unboxing. Sometimes I do unboxing stuff, but I try to keep it guy related. Oh, okay. No girly shit. Although <laughs> they do have now, they have little, um, they started on YouTube where you can do, um, YouTube shorts, uh -huh. they have to be under a minute long, filmed in uh, with your cell phone upright. Uh -huh. Yeah. So little shorts, I figure, well, I'll do some little shorts to get people to watch those and they'll go to my channel. So when my cats do something stupid, I videotape them. <laughs> cats are always good. <laughs> people love cats, so I figure, you know, maybe that'll bring some people to the channel. I like cats, so that's good.